Have you ever wondered to yourself why it's so much more expensive to print like this than like this? If so, keep watching. This video will explain the difference between color copying costs and black and white copying costs. And really that boils down to two things. The amount of toner cartridges you're using and the amount of page you're trying to cover. But make sure you stick around to the end of this video because this page has you covered. And I can give you the key questions you need to ask yourself before you consider buying a color device. Most colors require more than one toner cartridge to be produced. That's why many newer devices come with four, black, yellow, cyan, and magenta. These four toners will allow you to print more vivid color than you could ever imagine in black and white, obviously. But because of this, matching those colors up can use two, three, or four times as much toner as a black and white image. Printing in color usually requires more page coverage than printing in black and white. And when you think about it, that makes entire sense. When you're printing in black and white, you're primarily printing a text-based document, which is gonna leave a lot of white space. And when you're printing in color, it's primarily gonna be a graphic or an image. And those, depending on what they are, are most likely gonna be all color, leaving very little white space. So when you think about the page coverage, it makes complete sense and why color is more expensive than black and white. How much you pay for your color copying is going to depend on three primary factors. One, how much page coverage are you looking at? Two, how many cartridges does your device need? And finally, the wear and tear on your device from these cartridges. Once we combine these primary factors together and use the law of averages, we can determine what the CPC rate or cost per copy rate is for your device. As promised from the beginning of this video, this page has still got you covered. So the key questions you need to ask yourself when looking at purchasing a color device are, is color a necessity or a nice to have for your business? Secondly, you wanna look at the main purpose of this device. Is it gonna be printing primarily text-based or image-based documents? I would recommend you buy a color device if you're printing primarily image-based documents that you feel could use a splash of color. And I wouldn't recommend buying a color device if you're doing primarily text-based documents and color in them is more of a nice to have than a need to have. Oh, I didn't see you there. My name's William Page. You might remember me from such feature-length films by Office Interiors as how much does a copier cost or the top problems with a laser printer. If you haven't seen these wonderful works of art, I'd love you to click the link below and witness them for the true beauty yourself.